Who the heck is this guy? I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot. This is the same day, maybe? Still some shards yeah. left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Big B, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for ah, a reason. there we go. It's okay. He's a fable. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <sighs> Don't go looking for any more fights. Take strain <sighs> off your heart. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm good. For now. She, she's fine, Bigby. I had oh. everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. Oh, so Holly's fine. Back at her bar, Thank the God. Of Juniper and Springwater. I wonder Just why Holly don't want to know where he lives. The stitches won't hold up lives. if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more to chicken. Look, chicken. I'm not the <laughs> one who creates the situations. Just the one who has to do Yeah, there's no way I'm what opening that wound again. I mean, I'm a fable. Surely I should heal pretty Business quickly, office. right? I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll oh. leave you two to it then. Miss White? Big B? Bye. Yeah, I should probably... Okay, we have to read those fables. Bum! Sorry. I'll get distracted really easily. Boobs! Sorry. Big B's boobs! <laughs> so, to recap, Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room. How does he know that? And then he smashed it oh, so we I guess couldn't so. use it ourselves to go after. And Not necessarily you watched him though. Buffkin was drinking in the raft. Ah, we do know this. How about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. Maybe. Probably not. So, I guess that's the plan currently. Crane's getting away. I I, I don't know. We don't have time to wait for the mirror. Crane could be getting on a train right now. Well, I don't want to just go running off into the night without some direction. Do we have an erection? What I mean, the direction. What's going on? Just, the hell, Buffkin. I don't know what the Tweedles get <laughs> out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if. I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? I don't know. I don't think Everything so. Everything points to him. I get it, but do you really sure. think he killed those women? I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It could be someone framing Crane pretty Doesn't easily. Make sense. And then Crane just had he's, to run because he's he obviously game played. He was a conniver, a, a coward, a liar, and I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. Yeah. Murder. Unless it wasn't him. Ow. Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Oh God! Now, now Buffy is gonna bleed out. Great. Best day ever. Jesus. Okay. Everybody's that dying. Could have gone really. Terribly, I mean, even worse yeah, than it did. I do feel bad for I just Holly. Feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Me three. Time heals everything eventually. At least I hope so, for her sake. Or if she blames me. We're totally have to go. Gonna have to go back there again. Can That's I gonna suck. Um, ask you a question? Yes. Let's get married. Wait, what? It's kind of personal. Uh oh. And I don't want to offend you. What's on Why? your mind? What's on your mind? Let it's me just, know. When stuff hits the fan, like <laughs> like it did tonight. You mean shit? It feels like before we came to the city. It feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it. Oh yes, I completely agree. Wrong. This is this fits into real life because really well. It gives well. you an excuse to just you know why even bring this up like people love drama as much as they say they hate i guess it doesn't matter oh was that the wrong thing to say i'm sorry uh it, guys oh whoops i didn't think problem. it would ask it like that what is it? i can't finish the mirror it's missing a piece oh yeah well what do you mean missing a piece yes yeah. it's uh crane must have taken a shard no kidding it. that would have been the smart thing to do look at that ship this. it's floating I around saw crane picked something up after he smashed it i'm sorry i didn't realize what it was until now well the mirror can't work unless it's whole yeah that's well, really smart that's of him not actually entirely true uh oh are we well, gonna fake his glass what we sit around and wait until it mends itself we have no idea oh how that's cool it. even the mirror it mends itself we're just gonna have to do this the hard way that's awesome i'm just saying waiting is an option no. What exactly is the hard? Oh, you know what the hard way is. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying. 
He had to have left something that tells us where yeah. he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. Yeah. Well, maybe it wasn't him. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that. Never mind it that. Come help me look. How long was I, I'm assuming it's a crane imposter? Like, how long was he imposing? Maybe cranes, like in like in Harry Potter, or that one Mad Eye Moody. You know how he's like trapped in like a chest. Maybe it's like that. Maybe cranes like trapped in a chest naked somewhere with pictures of snow. Oh God. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch crane. You know. Oh yeah. Yes. It'll take a crane to get I it out. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. Ooh. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Oh, is it another... Witch. Yes, it sounded um, like the one he got his snow... Glamour, that's from. what I was thinking of. I was going to say, like, cloaking device, but no, glamour's the right word. Why didn't you try and stop him? Well, what do you want me to do? Yank on his hair? Yeah, he I'm only three anything. feet tall. There are limits here. Yeah, it's okay, actually better that okay. I didn't know he was here. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Okay. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? You could have came down, you mean it? grabbed yeah. the thing, the Aladdin lamp thing, I'll and just like, pulled it away. I'll just see if I can do anything lamp. about this. Oh. You do that. I love Buffkin. He's cool and doesn't afraid of anything. So yeah, going back to the topic of... Um, people love drama, no matter how much they say they hate it, it's the spice of life. Quite frankly, if people didn't have drama, what would they have? Boringness! I mean, sure, they, they, no one wants the perfect life, everyone would get bored of the perfect life. Is there anything interesting over here? Nope, can't go over here. Oh, but we can't go over here, but we can't do anything over here. Okay. Well, before we do this, we're gonna go into escape. Should I be pressing pause or something? Instead, I mean, space instead of that? I should have read all this, but this is too much to read at this point. Alright. Vivian! This is Vivian. Okay, I was right. Uh, much of Vivian's past is unknown, since she prefers not to talk about her life back in the homeland. She wanted to start fresh in Fable Town, but she finds herself working for Georgie at the Pudding and Pie. It's not a terrible li or It's not a terrible life, really. Georgie took a liking to Vivian so he doesn't make her take jobs at the open arms. Instead, she plays hostess and helps Georgie and Sure, complete customer satisfaction. I wonder, I wonder if Vivian's the killer. Look at that face. That's a killer face. Uh, Dr. Swinehart, the army surgeon. Dr. Swinehart is a resident from Fable Town physician, so skilled in the art of instrumental surgery that he can safely operate on himself. Oh, that's cool. Huh. Uh, he served as an army medic for many years, sometimes using his talents to impress the locals. He currently runs the special research section of the Knights of Malta Hospital, so named to discourage people for investigating what is actually a reserve fables focused health facility interesting Very interesting. Mm, yes, indeed. okay I have no idea who these people are like at least in the fairy tale world okay let's see what's on the desk here oh geez that anger face though uh oh what's that 202 what is it it's the key to his room at the open arms why would you just leave that in the open you still haven't told me what was in there well, I want to know. Green was uh, paying Lily to live out a fantasy of him and you together. Together forever. I spare you the details. Yeah. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head, interactions with him when he'd catch me in the uh, elevator what? or bump into me. Outside. You said interactions weird. Sound like erections. <laughs> I'm not just saying that, I just so really did. You can repress, you know? Yeah. You could have known. No, you, you couldn't have known. No. I did, though. You could have. I did. And I kind of Come liked on, it deep inside. Looking. But I couldn't tell anyone because it was really weird, actually. Uh, yeah. Oh, God, that's way too much reading. Uh, Igwan Crane, are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions here could do with some improvement. I'm seeing some. Unrest from the residents, and I have to admit, I, ca I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think you sh this should be made priority. Best, Wayland Smith. Who the heck is that? Who the heck? No comments. Alright, what's this? Dear Mr. Kabon Crane, I am writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up in the apartment, and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. 
Uh, I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something gross. And I'd really like uh, for you to fix the error like we asked you three months ago. At the very least, provide some fan in the meantime. Sincerely, Boy Blue, whoever the heck Boy Blue... Actually, Boy Blue sounds really familiar, but I don't know who he actually is. Who the heck is Pinocchio? I don't even know. Get your shit together? What? Mr. Crane, you said you'd pay the plaster... Or, you'd have... You'd have the... You'd have the plaster redone my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out that room as it is, and I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention, you'd already promised me that you'd send... Someone to fix the big crack in the glass on the front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now! Get your shit together, Mr. Toad. Crane <coughs> ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. Oh, Cole was the pig, was he not? Oh, I wonder if he was a detective at some point or something like that. Huh. What's this? <coughs> Official business. Why does. Why do they ha have more people hired here? I mean, there's plenty of work. And there's plenty, like, of demand. I don't know, it's- maybe they just can't afford it, but seriously, they should be able- Ooh, what's this? There's a page here that was torn out. The Ring of oh, Mordor? Yeah? Bufkin, do you know what was here? There's a blimp in the background, too, that's cool. The Ring of Mordor. It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Was it the witch Buffy king? I overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you <laughs> glamours from. It must be about this ring. What if Why it is actual of the before? rings? That'd be amazing. No me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. Ooh. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Oh, Blue Jesus. Beard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I Rita. called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything oh more than that. Well, Maybe he's a killer. I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing Whoa. a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business. Wait a Bluebeard. second. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. Maybe he's he was scared. glamoured as Crane. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating And he's him. back from and the witch. now it's none of my business? You or maybe not. The murder. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. I think he might be the killer. Bluebeard. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. <clears throat> A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn you know away help. Crane. I what think he... I, I'm Crane actually calling anyway. it... He's that the killer. He has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. He's Look, pressing too hard on Crane. Crane is going to see a witch and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? He's trying to gain the charge. Was the most logical thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially Snow for years. It. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. I think Bluebeard might be the killer. I mean, he could have been glamoured as Crane <sighs> All right, left. Let's just look on the bright side. And then have his glamour wear no off and Crane come back. Is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And but they were in the same room at some point, at weren't two. they? So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get yeah, them all at once. About two hours. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And yeah. Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know? True, about where are they? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The trip trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has office. to be our focus. Yeah. Even if they're not there, the Tweedles office true, may have true. something on Crane. We're the witch. I don't really care what you two do. 
I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just Cranes? go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? Oh, I don't know where it is. Bluebeard's gonna then I'll pick the blast at find line. something. I've wasted enough time waiting <coughs> for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, yeah. now it's evidence. Before stay you out of no it. interest, and now it's a crime I scene. I think you should stay you out of just it. Just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. I uh -huh. can't get any more messed up. Oh, I thought he was going to take insult to that. Rich Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort See? out of couch cushions. I mean, even these, he's, he's saying that they might have been up here. It. Are still so here. This is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. Yep, I agree. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. <laughs> we couldn't hear that. <laughs> Where are you going? That's go pretty with loud. You? He's right there. He's literally like a foot away. Find the witch. Are we need an option here? Oh, do we get three here? So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. I mean, Holly, I don't think she has that, like... Holly doesn't have much she could tell me. Right? Crane, we're not... Uh... We're not going to find anything at Crane's. But it was saw Bluebeard from tampering evidence. D's office is probably going to have anything, but he probably does have a clue to where like the location of Crane or whoever he's working for would be. I think D is our best option, but Crane, like, you know, I guarantee Bluebeard's going to go to Crane's apartment, break in, even though, we, like, even if he's told not to, and he's going to come back with some fake evidence to be like, Crane did it, even though like he obviously didn't. Well, it's not that he obviously didn't, but he's too much of a red herring. Like, there's no way we would find out Crane is the murderer on the second episode of The Wolf Among Us, right? That's too crazy. I think you we're gonna go. Must know where he is. I should go to their office. Not necessarily know where he Perfect. is. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. Go with him, Snow. I'll look up their address. I hope you know what you're doing. I don't know. <laughs> I think my best bet is D's office, though. I should be an investigator. The Tweedle Brothers office. Hey! <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've, uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten. Look at a shadow. You are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane, uh... Get a haircut, you hippie! Recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. Now, So, what brings you here? Flight catcher. I mean, can I help you with anything? Does he see through Are his hat? Are you hats? here to see one of the brothers? Oh, no, I can see his eyes. D or Dumb? I was hoping to have a talk with D or Dumb. Do you know where they are? No, they don't really keep regular hours as far as I can tell. Sorry. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out. Probably working on a case. Yeah, a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. Yeah. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. Oh, I God, he's going to be watching more. me. You can wait for them there. Sure. Thanks. No problem. Oh. Look to see if his I'm face change or something. i to take a look around. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Right, you're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. Yeah. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. It's official Fabled Town business. Don't worry. Right. Huh? What an asshole! Make fly catches work more? What the ha Oh, that's Big V! That's funny. <laughs> Let's see if they've got a file on a crane. Cinderella. Oh, let's let's snoop. Let's we gotta snoop. Georgie has an this interest. Is worse than I thought. Wait till CM gives. Go ahead, CM. Shit! I didn't read it all. 
Oh, I don't get to read it. Oh, I'll read it and edit, so whatever. Okay, I read this quick. I'm not gonna read it out loud, so just so I can read. Who the heck is this guy? Detective oh. Brannigan. Oh, the police Keep girl. An eye on her. Police detective something. I couldn't read that again. Whoops. All right, Cinderella, Cinderella. Where's Cindy been? Somewhere in Europe. Ha. Huh. Crane. Let's go. Ooh, donkey skin. Can we, can we not? Hello? There we go. That was don donkey skin. There we go. That was weird. Alright. I feel like this is going to have a lot to read. Crane hired them to look for a photo? Uh. So that's why they were at her apartment. And the woodsman's place. A photo? Cinderella, Cinderella! Right. Ichabod Crane. Here he is. Oh God. Who owes the crooked man money? Shit. How is he planning to pay this all back? Five hundred dollars for a for photo. The acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Yeah. Why did he want it back so badly? Find anything? Not what I need. Now, I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. Yeah. They really care about helping people. No. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. How do you mean they help people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way Dee explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. <laughs> or like sometimes That's they funny. get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? For who? All kinds. Come to uh, think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Very interesting. Anyways, I'm just saying, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, flycatcher. Mm, I wonder if these guys are actually like good people, but they just have to give the terrible. Oh, they play chess. Let's see who's winning here. Ooh, black, black looks like. What's that? Is that a? Is that? It's not the king. Is uh, is that a queen? Yeah, black's definitely winning. Anything else to say, Mr. Flycatcher? I'm sure you have your reasons, but it's just they, they've done so much for me. Yeah. Inbox. What's this? Another inbox. Cigar box. Is there anything over here? I don't want to miss anything. I hate when I watch people like play a game and then they like try to go through as quick as possible and they miss so many good things. Hey, I hate brother, it. Brother dumb. I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, brother <laughs> D. What's that about? They do have their quirks. <sighs> Some people like to have fun, big See, Believe I it or not. Wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. Oh, Th they're detectives, like I said. I'm finding enough. I'm finding enough. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're eh. not helping anyone. Eh. Well, they helped me. Okay, great. They helped you. That's one person. Eh. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. I don't know. This might have been a dud. What's that? Lollipops. Oh, they do eat lollipop. Don't. <gasps> What's that mean? 